Hello students, today we will continue our exercise 2.4. Question number 4. Factorize. Factorize means we have to find the value of x. First question 12x square minus 7x plus 1. We have to solve this question by splitting the middle term. How? First, we have to get a number in a such a way that we have to multiply 12 into 1. We get result equals to 12. We get result equals to 12. We get multiplication, uh, we have to select a number in a such a way that we get the multiplication of two numbers in a such a way that we get result equals to by multiplication we get result equals to 12 and by addition or subtraction we will get a result minus 7. So first of all I have decided to take a number in a such a way that multiplication of two numbers can be we get a result equals to 12. So first off I have decided 2 into 2 and 2 and 6. Here I get a result equals to 12 but I get result equals to 12 but by addition or subtraction I cannot get a minus 7 so I have selected a number in a such a way that 4 and 3 means minus 3 and minus 4 this is minus 3 and this is minus 4 so by multiplication of minus 3 minus 4 I get result equals to 12 and the addition of minus 3 and minus 4 is minus 7. Now I have to split this middle term. By splitting the middle term this is minus 7x can be written as minus 4 minus 3. So now I have to take a common from first two terms and last two terms. From first two terms I have taken common 4x in bracket remaining 3x minus 1 and last two terms I have taken common minus 1 and in bracket 3x minus 1. This is 3x minus 1 I have to take both common. So remaining here 4x minus 1. So I can write 12x square minus 7x plus 3 equals to 2x minus 1 and 3x plus 3x minus 1. So we get 2x minus 1 and 3x plus in same way question number 2. 2x square plus 7x plus 3. So I have to split middle term in a such a way that two numbers should be multiplied and we get result equals to 6. And by addition to number I will get a result equals to 7. So I have planned x and 1 and 6. Now I have to take a common from this first two terms and from last two terms. I have to take a common. So from first two terms uh, common is x. So I can write in bracket 2x plus 1. And from last two terms I have to take a common 3. So remaining terms are 2x plus 1. Now if we have a same bracket common so I can take a common 2x plus 1 remaining x plus 3 as it is. In question number 3 6x square plus 5x minus 6 here by my uh, this is multiplied 6 into 6 we get 36 we have to select a number in a such a way that we get by multiplying by product we get 36 and by addition or subtraction we will get up 5 plus 5. So I have decided as 9 4s are 36 and 9 minus 4 is 36. Now I have to write this in such a way from first two term I have to take a common 3x in bracket 2x plus 3. From last two term I have to take a common 2 and in bracket 2x plus 3. One thing you should remember that this bracket should be a same. So 2x plus 3 as same and this is 3x minus 2. So I can write 6x square plus 5x minus 6 
is equal to 2x plus 3 into 3x minus 2. Question number 5. Here I have 4 questions. I will solve 2 questions and remaining 2 questions you have to solve yourself. This is x cube minus 2x square minus x plus 2. Next is x cube minus 3x square minus 9x minus 5. These are the 4 questions. I will solve 2 questions. 2 questions you have to solve in homework. Here this is question 1 x cube minus 2x square minus x plus 2. First of all we have to rearrange the term. First of this is x cube minus x minus 2x square plus 2. Means um, I have arranged this term. From first two terms I have to take a common as x and x square minus 1 in bracket. And from last two terms I have to take a common minus 2. In bracket we have x square minus 1. Now this bracket can be taken as common so x square minus 1 and remaining x minus 2. Now I have to solve this x square minus 1 can be written as by using formula a square minus b square is equals to a minus b a plus b. So this is x minus 1 this is x plus 1 and x minus 2. So I can write x cube minus 2 x square minus x plus 2 can be written as x minus 1 x plus 1 x minus 2 this is question number 2 x cube minus 3x square minus 9x minus 5 first of all I have to split this 3x square minus 3x square in x square minus 4x and this 9 can be split in minus 4 and minus 5 now I have to take common from first two terms middle two terms and last two terms and from first two terms i can take common x square in bracket x plus 1 from middle two terms i have taken a common 4x and remaining x plus 1 from last two term i have taken common minus 5 in bracket x plus 1 so from all this term we can take a common x plus 1 and the rest remaining x square minus 4x minus 5 so i can return as write as this now again by splitting middle term I can write minus 4x as minus 5x plus x minus 5. So this is x plus 1. Now from first two term I have to take common x and bracket x minus 5. From last two term I have to take common 1 and bracket remaining x minus 5. Now this x minus 5 can be taken as common. So remaining this x plus 1. Then I can write x cube minus 3x square minus 9x minus 5 can be written as x plus 1 into x minus 5 x plus 1. Rest to question you have to solve yourself in homework. Thank you students.